pack it, I can only fight one way. In case people didn't realize it, there's only one style he's gonna fight. Here it is. Lead left. He leans over to his right. Boom, there it is. Leans over, drops the left. Lean, drops the left. Counter and the jab. Counter and the jab. But only against a slow fighter can he get this off. He does that little lean. He sells it so easy. Sells it. Every time he leans, boom, there it is. Boom. 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 He did the same move all night long. And Kodo couldn't do anything about it. Now, do you think that kind of move would work on Floyd Mayweather? He does it every fight. So ridiculous. It's so basic. It's what you would teach a kid. Steroids as an excuse. I'm saying you're bigger than him anyway. You should be able to whip his ass steroids or not. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever heard me say that he took steroids? Have you ever heard me personally come out? You allude to that shit. You allude to it a lot. What would you say? What? Um, you allude to it. But have you heard me say it? I can, I can read between the lines, Floyd. Come on, man. Yeah, I can. You're psychic, you do you don't, you don't want, I, I talk shit about you for a living. That's what I do for a living. You beat up people. So you ride my dick for a living, huh? Yeah, that's what I do. I ride your fucking dick. Yeah, because we talk about you all the fucking time, bro. You know, I ain't, like I said before, boss, man, I ain't hard to find. I'm everywhere. <laughs> Why are you so sensitive? You're not allowed to be sensitive and duck fights. Like, what, either either like don't duck fights or don't be sensitive. You can't be both. You ducking. You ducking. Shut your legs and open up a book. That's all. Oh! This your man Jude. I'm outside of Angela's house. He's about to creep up in there, sneaky sneak style. Let her know that she needs a makeover because he's a dusty broad. One thing is for sure: you can expect Jude to be rude. First off, you need to pull that mother up, and then you need to pull that boomer head down. in the middle of a show. It's actually his horse. He won his face back. <laughs> she has a 90-year-old sugar daddy. I mean, she waiting for him to die so she can eat him. No, I'm not. And I rub this all over your boy. Jude, focus on the questions. Next question to Adina, please. All over your boy. Lioness, right there in the goal. Li Lioness, you look like hippopotamus. You need to drop the from you, Juice. Cover from you, Juice. That's a compliment. I'm breaking down in your language. Your boom book a lot. Cover from you. Cover from you. Cover you. Not the Canadian alphabet, the American alphabet. Genius. Follow me. I'm going to show you the illest stuff and tell you what's cool and what's not cool. Come and get the Jane. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These girls want to be in a sexy video. And they could be. I mean, y'all fat and you can't dance. I mean, what else do you need? <laughs> so I just want to be for real. Let's talk. What happened to your face? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with these women. I don't know why these men are afraid of you. Reading it off the paper towel. Who the hell writes on a piece of paper towel? <laughs> There's more people out here that'll talk to you. Like, like, the only men who want to Hindus worship cows. I'm sure you can get one of them. I want to rip it. I can't even say nothing bad about you. You too damn dumb. You ain't even understand me. All right, Johnny, back to you. Thank you so much.
I'm just saying it's fascinating how hypocritical the society is in the way that it treats athletes as opposed to every other kind of mm -hmm. performance. But it's not going to go away, though. No, it's never going to go away because okay. this has been around for more than 30 years. When mm -hmm. I first went to the Summer Olympics in 1976, on my first day at the Montreal Olympics in 1976, I was taken to a meeting with the American hammer throwers and shot putters and discus throwers. And very candidly, two or three of them, asking for secrecy and confidentiality, of course, told me about their dosages, mm -hmm. told me what they were taking, told me how it worked and why it worked, et cetera, et cetera, and also told me, incidentally, everybody from the Eastern Bloc is doing it. That's why we have to do it. Mm -hmm. So that was 32 years ago. Media constantly focus on an individual case. Clements, Bonds, Marion Jones. That's not looking at the forest for the trees. There's a giant commercial pipeline here. There are thousands of people all around the globe who are involved in that pipeline. They come from every level of sports, from executives down to trainers and hangers on. And they're all a part of a big distribution pipeline which distributes hundreds of millions of dollars worth of performance enhancing substances every year. You think that's going to go away? Because one big athlete gets busted? Of course not. I mean, it's here to stay. Tennis players are getting busted now. I tell all my friends, if you want to love sports in the 21st century, if you want to continue that romance that you had all of your life, get rid of your naive romantic notions about getting rid of performance enhancement, getting rid of those drugs, because mm -hmm. they are here to stay. And we just heard Jim Lampley try to justify the usage of PEDs. Why? He's basically brainwashing you to tell you, and what the media is trying to do it subtly, because they have to be careful dancing around this subject, is they want you to get okay with the notion, saying, well, everybody's doing it, so what? Let everybody just shoot themselves up with PEDs and just let it be normal. It's a normal thing. That's what they want to get across to the general public, but they got to be careful with how they do it. That's why it was done on such a small medium. It wasn't done on a big public stage like his HBO show. He'll never say that live on HBO because he know he can't say it live on HBO. But isn't that cynical? Is it just me? You know, I, I feel like why you got to take this route to go ahead to try to justify the fact that you know for a fact that Pacquiao is taking performance enhancing drugs. I mean it's not even a question anymore. Now it's like how do we recover from this because he might get found out. Something might happen. We have to prepare ourselves for this. So let's just start saying so what if he gets caught. So what? One athlete's not going to stop. This thing is here to stay. That's like saying cocaine is here to stay. You don't see nobody on the news saying, man, you know what? Cocaine's all over the place. It's here to stay. But it doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> cocaine is not what's good for you. It's not what's good for the, for the sport. Performance enhancing drugs kills the sports. That's why they don't want it involved. You're never going to know who the best players are or who the best anything is if everybody's taking these drugs to enhance themselves. Think about the person who didn't take these, who did it the right way, and got put out by somebody who was less talented and didn't have the skills that they possessed and put in more of the work, and now all of a sudden they, they've been cheated out of something that should have rightfully been theirs. I don't agree with your statement. What do y'all think? In case people didn't realize it, it's only one style he's gonna fight. Here it is. Lead left. He leans over to his right. Boom. There it is. Leans over. Drops the left. Lean. Drops the left. 
counter and a jab, counter and a jab, but only against a slow fighter can he get this off. He does that little lane, he sells it so easy. Sells it. Every time he lands, boom, there it is. Boom. 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 He did the same move all night long. 